So today, Penguins, the latest film from Disney Nature hits theaters, so let's talk about it. Penguins explores a year in the life of two penguins in Antarctica. Steve and Adeline, our two penguins, look to start a family while surviving the dangers of the climate and the local predators. The film is narrated by Ed Helms. As a point of reference, I'm pretty sure this is the first Disney nature film that I've seen, and I actually took my mom to go see it. Before I give my take on it, go ahead and share yours down below in the comment section. Did you love it? Did you hate it? All the fun stuff in between. With that said, let's get started talking about the good. And the best thing about this movie is that Penguins are incredibly cute and interesting creatures. The way that Disney Nature makes these film documentaries is that they spend years capturing these gorgeous images of the location and the creatures themselves. And so this movie is 76 minutes long of absolutely beautiful shots of penguins doing adorable things. Just the beginning of this movie, it starts with this long shot of a penguin walking and tripping and falling and getting back up and it's just adorable. And as I said before, it's all beautifully shot. Every single frame in this entire movie would make for a great postcard or magazine cover. The movie keeps you engaged by constructing this narrative about Stephen Adeline, and essentially that narrative that they construct about these two penguins demonstrates the life cycle of actual penguins in Antarctica. So in the process of watching the film, you both have a narrative with conflict, tension, drama inside of it, but all of that tension, conflict, and drama is based off the actual threats of the area and the different creatures there, and so you're learning through a story. Along the way, Ed Helms' narration sprinkles little doses of humor throughout the entire film, in addition to the inherent amusement that comes from watching the awkward way that penguins move and behave. From there, let's move on to the mixed aspects of the film. The big thing that comes to mind is while this is a rated G movie, it's also about nature and predators. So inside of this film, you see see birds swoop in, steal penguin eggs from mothers, and eat them. You see penguins eaten whole at one section inside of this film. And so while it's not graphic in nature, inherently you are watching animals die on screen. And so if you're sensitive to that kind of thing, or if your children are sensitive to that kind of thing, there's some really intense sequences inside of this film. Like after the movie, my mother and I were talking about how this would not be great for my niece or my daughter to see because they wouldn't enjoy those sections of the film. To be clear, 70 minutes of this film is perfectly fine for all ages filled with cute penguin action. But there's about six minutes broken into two sections that are intense. The first one is in the middle of the film dealing with the eggs and birds swooping in, and the second is towards the end of it when it starts talking about leopard seals and the penguins trying to escape. Whenever those two sections start, if you're sensitive to watching actual animals die, you might want to just skip ahead. From there, let's move on to the bad aspects of the film. So the entire gimmick of this film is that they spend years filming these penguins and then they edit it together and use voiceover to construct a narrative to try and convince you that the dozens of penguins that they actually shot are really just these two penguins, Steve and Adeline. And for the most part, it works. You're tracking along with it, having fun, and you feel the right emotions. However, there's multiple times inside of it where Steve's walking, white chest, next shot, Steve has mud all over his chest. Very clearly, they swapped out penguins. And for me, I was looking for that sort of thing, and so it distracted me, it pulled me out of the film because it's not a seamless transition to convincing you that they actually only shot two penguins for the run of the movie. The second issue with the film is I felt there was like just the wrong mix of pop music inside of this film. In the first couple of minutes, they open with a pop song, and that kind of sets your expectations for the film. And then it's like 30 minutes until there's another pop song and suddenly it breaks into the song, I can't fight this feeling anymore, out of nowhere. And I think there's one more later on inside of the film. And because it's only like every 30 minutes, it's pretty distracting as soon as a pop song suddenly starts playing and it's like, okay, this 
feels out of place with what you just did for 30 minutes. Felt like if they wanted to go in that direction, have a pop song play like every 10 minutes, every 15 minutes, so it's just part of the cadence of the film. And finally, even at just 76 minutes, I thought it was probably about 10 minutes too long. There's a number of sequences in the film that just seem dragged out a little bit. And a lot of this is because there's a lot of these wide angle shots of penguins marching through these big open plains and uphills and they're gorgeous shots but there's a lot of them and they're rather long. I imagine the movie would have benefited if they had a few more kind of quick moving montages. There's a couple of them in the movie and if there'd been a few more of those, few more musical sequences that could have broken up the monotony of these long wide angle shots of penguins being cute, could have benefited the film a little bit. In general, this is a cute and informative look at the life of a pair of penguins in Antarctica. I would give it a B. If you enjoyed this video, you can see more of my reviews right over there. Leave your take on this movie down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and keep talking movies too much.